Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're going to discuss our fourth basic principle of training. Just a quick recap. So we're talking about how to write a workout. Our first video that we talked about, our first principle is progression, doing about 5% more. Our second principle was overload, doing something that you're kind of unfamiliar with. And our third principle that we talked about yesterday was individuality. That is, everybody is different and they respond differently. Fourth principle today is that of reversibility, which means if you don't use it, you lose it. Another great cliche to kind of remember these things. So I want to tie back into an example that we had talked about earlier, and that is uh, the... <laughs> I've never met somebody who didn't used to bench 400 pounds, right? So you may have, you probably didn't bench 400 pounds, but you may have been very strong back in high school or something. But if you're 40 years old and you don't really even take the stairs, much less go to the gym, you're not going to be able to do those things that you used to do, right? Your tissues are not acclimated to that kind of stress. And even if you were able to get the weight up with your neuromuscular system, you're probably not going to get away unscathed. You're probably going to leave the gym with some sort of soft tissue injury, whether it be a strain or a pole or whatever. So we have to keep in mind training frequency. If I train once a week, it's probably not enough for me to make gains. It depends on how hard and how long that workout is, and it depends on what kind of stuff that you're trying to train. But a lot of things start to regress pretty quickly, um, even with uh, so like cardiovascular gains. We, we might say our adaptations have this residual effect. So I don't need to always be working out to have my uh, my endurance. But if I stop working out, I'm going to lose that endurance at some point. And it takes about two weeks until that starts to come down and still until we start to lose some of those gains um, until those residuals die off. So you have to keep training. Um, power is even more fleeting. So like power training after four to seven days, I think it is. Um, those those your speed, your quickness, your elasticity, that stuff goes away. So um, you want to keep training those different things, even if that's not your focus of your training block, which we'll talk about later on. Even if that's not the focus of your workout that you've written, you still want to kind of touch on some of those things. Don't spend too much time, but just make sure your body knows and remembers how to do those things, how to access those adaptations. That is reversibility. If you don't use it, you lose it. 